How these views can actually be created and managed in the Denoto platform. As we mentioned before, the summary views can be created using either the graphical wizard or the vequal command create summary view. But before that, let's make sure that the optimizations automatic simplification of queries, summary rewrite optimization, and data movement are enabled in the server configuration. Let's first see how we can create this view graphically. Note that for creating the summary views, the user needs to be a server administrator. To create a summary view, we can navigate through File, New, Summary View, or we could click on the three vertical dots on the right side of any element in the Server Explorer, and from there click on New, Summary View. Let's navigate through the File menu, New, and click on Summary View. This is the wizard where we'll need to enter the details related to our new Summary View, and we'll go through them one by one. First off, we need a name for the summary, so let's enter this as S Customer Sale. The next checkbox enables Query Rewrite for this summary. By checking this option, the optimizer will rewrite a query on the fly based on what the user is executing. Let's check this option. We have to provide a target data source where a remote table will be created to store the values of the summary. We can choose the virtual database where the data source is located and choose the appropriate name of the data source. For instance, Let's choose the database name as Denoto Training and choose our web orders JDBC data source. By doing so, we'll see that the next set of configuration options becomes available. We can specify a batch insert size based on the number of tuples to be inserted. Also, if we were to choose a Hadoop-based data source like Hive or Impala, we'd be able to specify the location where the data needs to be uploaded. Further, for data sources which make use of Parquet files, we can specify the size of the Parquet row group in megabytes. After specifying the details related to data insertion, we'll next have to specify details related to the remote table, i.e. like the remote table name, catalog, schema, where the summary can insert its records. Let's specify the remote table name as S customer sale and load it in our schema website sys, for example. Finally, we need to provide the vequal query based on which the summary will be built. This query must be as generic as it can be, so that summaries can be used in more situations based on the performance gain that could be achieved. For this example, since we're not in a real scenario, we're going to enter a simple vequal query involving a group by, which is related to the customer's sales. And that's pretty much it. Now we can click on the Save option and the summary will be created. It might take a moment to create the summary as the records are getting inserted into the specified schema in the background. After saving the view, let's move it to a new Summaries folder in the Denoto Training Database. So now we've seen the graphical way to create the summary, but similarly, we can use the Create Summary View command in the vequal shell to create a summary. Let's check the syntax of this command in the vequal shell and we'll click on Tools, VQL Shell, and enter the query Help Create Summary View. Here we can see the basic syntax of the command, along with a simple example. Going back to our sample summary view, it's possible to edit it. To do that, we'll click on the Edit tab. 
In case we need to perform any modifications for the summaries, we can do it here. We also have the Options tab, and in this tab, we have a sub-tab for indexes, where we can create new indexes to further speed up the query process. Also, we'll have another sub-tab for statistics, because statistics can also be gathered for the summaries. These are some of the additional options which we'll be able to configure after creating the summaries. Apart from these options, like pretty much every other view, summary views will have the tree view, used by view, and we can also check the data lineage of the summary to make it easier to see how the summary view was built. Also, we'll have the option here to export the vequel of the summary. Now what if the view involved in the vequel query has changed, or if there's been changes in the underlying data? In that scenario, our summary can become outdated, so we'll need to update it again in order to keep the data in sync with the source. To do that, we have a button in the GUI to refresh the summary, and by clicking on this option, the summary will be refreshed. In case the summary view is no longer in use, we can then drop the view using the drop option located on the top right of this screen. And let's remove this example summary. Note that these are only some of the features related to the summary views, 